Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can use uh, multiple document interface or MDI with your uh, Visual Basic Windows form application. So let's get started. To start with I have a sample project which is a blank project. So just make a blank project which have only one form which is form 1.db or oh, vb sorry. Okay and in order to make this uh, MDI container or multiple document interface container you just need to select this form and you need to go to the property and search for the property called is MDI container by default this property is false so just search for the property called is MDI container and make it true so I will make it true and you will instantly see the change in your form and it becomes a MDI container now in order to uh, implement child in this MDI container childs in this MDI container I will make two uh, new forms form 2 and form 3 so I will uh, just click my project right click it and I will add new item and I will select windows form here and I will leave it as form 2.vb so I've created one more form which is called form 2 and let me make it make a new form which is called form 3.vb and which is a windows form okay so I've created two more form form 2 and form 3 which I will use them as a child okay so now what I need to do is I will go to my first form and let's uh, use uh, menu strip for uh, opening form 2 and form 3 inside our form 1 which is our MDI parent so I will just drag and drop menu strip from here my from my toolbox and in here it will create this menu strip I will just name it as new and I will just go to here and I will say form 2 and form 3 now I will just select my form 2 item which is this item and I will go to the event and I will just click on this click event okay which is already selected just double click in this box two times and you will reach to the form 2 tool strip menu item underscore click event and in here what I need to do is I will need to declare an instance of form 2 so I will write dim f2 as new form 2 and now we need to uh, specify that which is the parent of this f2 uh, or which is the MDI parent of uh, this f2 so right now we are in form 1 right which is a parent okay so this is a parent form 1 and we have gone to this button click event of form 2 tool strip item okay so just write f2 dot mdi parent is equal to me why we have written me here because it's the same form form 1 okay so form 1 is the parent MDI parent of form 2 okay that's why I've written MDI parent is equal to me and then just we need to show it so f2 dot show okay the same thing I will do it for form 3 so just select form 3 menu uh, menu strip item and just go to event and just go to this click event and double click this and we will reach to the form 3 tool strip menu item click event and I will copy the same code here but I need to change this instance to form 3 F3 F3 and this will be form 3 okay so just I, I have uh, written the same code but I have changed it for form 3 now when I run the program it's opening form 1 which is my MDI parent right 
and now it has a menu strip and when I click this form 2 it should open form 2 inside my form 1 which is MDI parent so let's click it and you can see form 2 is created inside my form 1 okay let's create form 3 so I will click form 3 and you can see form 3 is created here and I can minimize it you can see here and I can maximize it also okay so form 3 and form 2 okay and I can create multiple instances of form 2 and form 3 it's not that only one instance will be open so you can see here two instance of form 2 are open right now same as for form 3 two instance of form 3 are open right now so multiple instances of forms we can open using this method there is code to uh, open only one instance at a time you just need to google it it's uh, really easy uh, to find this kind of code and you can uh, optimize your project according to the multiple document interface in visual basic so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now